Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Shelly. On today's episode, I'm going to be showing you how to make my delicious homemade southern mashed potatoes from scratch. Now, this is not your regular old standard mashed potatoes. They're coarse. They are, re they are made with real potatoes. In addition to that, we add milk, a little hint of sour cream, lots of butter, and my favorite blend of New Orleans seasonings to create a wonderful, flavorful, and delicious bowl of creamy, well-seasoned mashed potatoes that you're gonna love. This recipe calls for about six to eight servings. It's a perfect side dish. It goes well with meatloaf, creamy, well-seasoned, and absolutely delicious. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, here's all what you'll need to make your southern style mashed potatoes. Let's get started with our ingredients. You'll need four pounds of russet potatoes. Along with that, you're gonna need some whole milk, sour cream at room temperature, salted butter, and for your seasonings, you will need some salt, black pepper, Tony Saturated Creole seasoning. Now, if you don't have this, you can use the Zatarain's Creole seasoning or the Slap Your Mama Cajun seasoning. You will also need some Chef Paul Podom's Vegetable Magic, onion powder, and garlic powder. And for your tools, you will need a potato peeler and a potato masher. And there we have it. All right, let's get straight to it. So here I have a potato peeler. And I'm just going to peel the russet potatoes. All right, there we go. All right. Cut this in half first. And from there, we're just going to cut this into medium sized chunks. About that size right there is good. Now once done, you take your potato pieces and you add them into this medium sized bowl. Now as you can see here, there's a little blemish on the potato. So if you have a part of the potato that's bad, just take a knife and just cut that off. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and fill this bowl up with some cold water. Make sure the water covers all the potatoes. As you see here, Kind of stir them in with your hands or if not you could use a spoon my hands are clean so now you're gonna let the potatoes soak in this water for about 10 minutes and once your potatoes are finished soaking you could just add them into this strainer here and just let them sit until they're ready to be cooked preach your fire to medium heat all right let's get started with boiling our potatoes so in this large pot i have three quarts of hot simmering water and to that, I'm going to add three teaspoons of salt. And I'm going to give this a quick stir. All right, next I'm going to add my potato cubes. Now I'm going to go ahead and give this a quick stir. Now I'm going to go ahead and cover this. Now I'm going to just leave the lid a little open some of so that way some of the steam can escape. You're going to let this simmer for about 10 to 12 minutes, stirring occasionally. All right, it's been about 10 to 12 minutes now. And our potatoes should be done. You want to take one of the potatoes. You want to test it to see if it's done. If you stick a fork in there, oh, that's falling apart already. Yeah, it's done. It's ready. Now you're going to go ahead and turn your fire off. All right, now that our potatoes are nice and cooled, now I'm going to take my potato masher. And I'm just going to mash the potatoes. Now you want to make sure you do this really well. All right. Mash them really good. Preach your fire to medium heat. All right. Let's get started with making our mashed potatoes. So in this large pot, I'm going to add six tablespoons of salted butter right on in there. And just spread that around. I'm going to just let that melt in there. All right, next up, I'm going to add one and two third cups of whole milk. Two tablespoons of sour cream. Now let's go ahead and add some seasoning. I'm going to add one teaspoon of salt. One eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper. A half a teaspoon of Tony Sacheray's Creole seasoning. 
a half a teaspoon of Chef Paul Poudon's Vegetable Magic, one fourth teaspoon of onion powder, and the one fourth teaspoon of garlic powder. Now I'm gonna take my whisk and I'm just gonna stir this until combined. Now I'm gonna let this come up to a slight simmer. All right, uh, as you can see here, our mixture is starting to come up to a simmer. That's exactly what we're looking for. Now you're gonna go ahead and turn your fire off. All right, next I'm gonna add my mashed potatoes right on in there. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and give this a quick stir. Now you wanna stir this really well until it combines, okay? Now at first when you begin to stir it, as you can see, it doesn't appear that it's gonna to come together but you just keep stirring it. Make sure you use a good sturdy spoon to stir this. And as you can see, it's starting to come together now. And our mashed potatoes is done. Now for some quick tips, if you feel as though that your mashed potatoes might be too thick, you can add a little bit more milk, maybe about one third to a half a cup of milk and give it a quick stir and go from there. But that also means that you'll have to add more seasoning to it as well. And uh, this is also what I want to say that if um, you taste your mashed potatoes and you feel as though that it's not enough seasoning, just add just a little bit more seasoning and go from there. And you also want to wait for about five to 10 minutes before serving. And for best results, you can serve this the very next day so that way the flavors can settle and increase overnight. Here is the final presentation. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, Southern mashed potatoes made by New Orleans native. If you like my channel, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell button if you want to be notified of my videos. Now I have an official website for all of my recipes, including for these delicious homemade Southern mashed potatoes. You can go to www.charliecookandrews.com. You can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, and on Twitter under the name Charlie the Cook Andrews. Stay tuned as Charlie's taste test is coming up next. Can't wait. Ah. Now it's time to go eat and take a bite. It's really, really good. I mean, I really like the flavor. It's creamy, well seasoned. It's not to a point where the seasoning overpowers the potatoes. It just brings out the flavors of the potatoes. And that butter, oh, and on top of that, I add more butter to it, which I should have did. But man, this is absolutely delicious. I mean, I'm telling you, it's gonna surprise all your guests at the dinner table. It's really, really good. So, get a recipe a try. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, have a good one. Peace. Creamy, buttery, seasoned mashed potatoes. Oh, yeah.